Jeez, what happened to that guy? It looks like it was raining shotgun blasts. Hey guys, this is Nerdgasm. Welcome back to Batman Arkham Asylum on PS4. We are in the penitentiary tracking down Harley Quinn who's uh who's got Quincy Sharp in her in the palm of her hands. Gotta rescue him and then get the uh cryptographic sequencer which is coming up. Come on, dude. There we go. All the bullets scattered everywhere. They must have been, uh, going crazy <laughs> with the guns. Yeah, all the bullets there. Penitentiary. Bullet holes in the wall. Jeez. Oh, here too. This guy, <laughs> this guy must have been smashed up. That one's kind of glitching out a bit. Don't know why. Jeez, more bullets. Teeth. Oh, okay, here we go. This is this is where the uh the mirror riddle is. Has to be. There's there's no other uh bathrooms in this game. There there can't be. Okay, Sonic Shock Batarang. So that's the most uh useful gadget in this game and, and in later games as well. You can uh, lure them with the sonic batarang and then uh, activate it, cause it to uh, detonate, explode, and then knock uh, anyone near. Here's the mirror. There we go. Sexy Batman. Look at him. Yeah. But yeah, the uh, the sonic batarang, it blows up and then uh, incapacitates uh, all those around it. I think it can only take out one guy at a time, though. These doors are a little annoying, you have to wait for them, but they're just uh, glorified loading screens, I guess. Th this whole game doesn't really have much loading screens in it, so I, I shouldn't be complaining. <laughs> Even the original one didn't. Ah, the crazies. These these guys are, uh, are very, very insane. Completely off, the, uh, off their rockers. <laughs> Screaming like madmen. We saw one of them earlier with uh, with the first Scarecrow sequence because he it was one of them right up against the glass screaming for uh, for help. Yeah, we'll get this one. Some of the uh, the crazy guys they've got like uh, they're still wearing their straight jackets, so it's almost like their hands are in like uh, their arms are in big socks because it's they're useless. They can't use them. The Green Mile. Very sad movie. <laughs> I don't like watching it. Here's Poison Ivy. Uh, another another uh, character design I'm not a huge fan of in this game. Uh, they just over-sexualized her. And, and I get it's Poison Ivy. She's very, uh, I guess, tempting and seductive and all that type of stuff. That's that's what the character is. But uh, but they just, like, she's basically in plant panties. <laughs> and, and, like, an unbuttoned blouse, like... Yeah, they should have did something like this. Like, that would make more sense to me. It, it's still, you know, a bit revealing, but uh, but this is just... Like, why does she even have... I, I know it's a prison, uh, it'd be prison uniform, but where'd her pants go? Where, where the fuck did her pants go? There's more crazies. And here he is right here, Quincy Sharp. A case of mistaken identity. So this one is really, really cool. Um, right now you see Aaron Cash in this cell. A lot of clay inside, handprints. Um, <laughs> talks to you as if, if you need to help them get out, but you scan and you realize it's Clayface. I mean, it makes sense. There's, there's clay all over the walls. He, uh, he makes his appearance in Arkham City. Uh, playing the role of uh, the Joker, um, or at least the, the healthy Joker, which kind of uh, helps out the sick one, just so we can maintain control over Arkham City with the gang war uh, between him, Penguin, and, and Two-Face. But uh, but yeah, th this is cool though, because you see him in the cell, and uh, when you when you uh, kind of come back every once in a while, or, or if you're, you're looking away, sometimes you'll hear him transform. 
And and this guy here is uh, I don't know who he is, <laughs> but he but he won a competition um, that Rocksteady had uh, had put up uh, and, and just got his he won and and got his likeness in the uh, in the game. So they just made him one of the uh, the inmates in here. But uh, but yeah. So there's Clayface there and Cash. We'll see if we can we can hear him transform at some point. You you never see him change. You can't see him change, you just hear, and then when you look over, his model's already changed. And, uh, and, and transformed. K kind of a cop-out in this game, but but we, we do get rewarded in, uh, in in its sequel, Arkham City, so... Back then, we, we complained, but I, I don't think we do now. So, so this right here, Early Quinn, you know, Poison Ivy's not on the list. Uh, you know, Joker doesn't want her out, and then Harley's like, ah, oh, fuck it, I'll let you out, cut you a break, and basically Poison Ivy, uh, from this point on, kind of, uh, is this, is this catalyst, or this, uh, this, this chaotic factor in everything that, uh, that kind of goes uncontrolled, and, and she begins to kind of take over the island and everything, and uh, Joker right now obviously doesn't really give two shits, but as, as the story progresses, she she kind of gets in the way and everything. It makes things not necessarily not necessarily gets in the way, but overcomplicates uh, some things. So um, and really too, in many ways, you could say, uh, kind of leads to Joker's downfall, but because because uh, Poison Ivy's the one who lets you know where the the. Uh, the the spores are that that help uh, Batman create an antidote for the Titan formula. So yeah, it's just a domino effect from this point on. So the cryptographic sequencer here, uh, very very cool device used in uh, a lot of the games, and I love this line here from Batman. There's always a way out. Always. I guess it's true. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. All right, so we scan, or scan, but we we use it here. Um, just find the right sequence, or frequency, and it causes it to blow up. Easy peasy. You stay here. Lock oh, and right there, he's uh, he's changed. It's Quincy Sharp now. How can Quincy Sharp be in two places at once? So you've discovered my true face, detective. I won't tell. I'll keep it a secret. Okay, so moving on. We got the, the cryptographic sequencer. Joker just let out all the crazies. So now I gotta deal with these uh, these nut jobs. They're pretty easy to take out. You just either strike them once or counter them, but they run at you. And uh, and yeah, you just, uh, you just gotta prepare for them. You can use detective mode to, to see where they're coming from. Or maybe not, because I don't think he was there. <laughs> so you, you block, you smack him down, easy peasy. But sometimes they sneak up behind you, and you gotta, you gotta like mash X to, to chuck him off. Two people, one voice, no gun. Is that Two Face? Oh no, no, that's uh, it's the ventriloquist. <laughs> Just a coolish laugh. Well, now, there is. Oh, this poor bastard. Double dog dare ya. Okay. Oh, I love how she's swinging back and forth on the light. God, they, they really struggle getting those uh, gun cases open, don't they? Can't you see they're having difficulty doing that? Drop that gun. <laughs> you don't actually like fight Harley in this game. Um, when I was younger, I was kind of disappointed in that because I was like, oh, you, you know, she could probably put up a fight, but but I guess it makes sense because they don't, you know, you don't want Batman to. 
punch a woman <laughs> in the face and have a video game about it where kids can play it. Like it's not the not the best message to send. And honestly too, like what they do in this game is perfectly fine. It's like a cutscene, she goes to attack Batman, he he blocks her. It's uh it's it's good enough. Okay, so let's um, solve that riddle, which is the gun right over here, which is uh, the ventriloquists, or I guess Scarfaces, but let's be honest, it's it's Arnold Wesker who's who's pulling the trigger. Ah, uh, poor bastard. Ah, uh, you poor delusional bastard. Oh, there's Harley. Uh, much better costume though. They should have just did something like that rather than the uh, the nurse look. Jack Ryder, Batman. What else we got? Um, one that I haven't. Firefly. So that that that's a cool design too. They could have used that, but they uh, he looks really good in in Arkham Origins. Regardless, the wings look look very similar. So. And then Tweedledum and Tweedledee, I really have to get to a breakdown of these two. They've been uh, suggested for a while now. I need to uh, get off my ass and do it at some point. And then there's the crazy Amadeus Arkham himself. Former psychiatrist. Another tape. I could be playing these while I... Uh, while I'm 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 playing because you can keep them uh, going as you you uh, you progress and everything. Um, but I, I don't know. It might be kind of annoying because you you pick up so many so frequently. So I'm just deactivating them right away. Maybe I'll upload like a separate video at some point about them. Or who knows? Who knows? Anything can happen. Never say never. YouTube, I usually have uh, a lot of videos scheduled. Uh, is there anything down here? But yeah, I usually have a, um, a, a set schedule of videos that, that I'm going to do. Um, and then sometimes I, I do tweak it here and there, rearrange a few things, or add a new, uh, a new video I, I want to do, kind of out of the blue. But, uh, but typically I try to stay to my, my schedule. And I try not to rush myself too much. Like, there's so many things I want to get to, and if I could get to them within two weeks, I would. But, but I don't have the time, so I, I, uh, I need to be patient. Is it here? Where, uh... Okay, it's through here. Cause it's locked. Got the wavy lines in this. I, I like in later games where it has the uh, the wood you, you have to find, and it's usually associated with... with um... Oh, wait. Fuck. I just went the way I came. Dumbass. <laughs> here we go. There's guys here. I should have just... Uh... Just screaming like psychopaths. Sounds like he's gnawing on something. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they're, they're really easy to take out, but uh, when you get outside, there's like a higher number of them, so you don't want to... Um... I could swear there is Calendar Man's cell at some point in these uh, this area. Okay, here it is. Right here. As you can see, he's a little obsessed with calendar dates. Just a bit. I mean, hey, if he needs to wipe his ass taking a shit, he can just yank one off the wall, am I right? Right? No? Okay. There he is there. That's a pretty cool design, too. They make him a lot crazier, though, in, in later games. Like Arkham City, he's very, very disturbing. Like, he has, like, a, a kind of a leg brace, and he kind of, like, drags his feet. It's pretty, pretty creepy. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll talk about him in, in my, uh, walkthrough of, or let's play of, uh, Arkham City. We'll see, though, if I remember to go down there. He's in the, the basement of the courthouse. Luck has finally turned up, the dark knight himself. 
the, the dork knight. I love how she's just so childish with her with her insults. So before we do that, we're gonna just quickly run over here because there is a timer that starts. But we uh, we've got this riddle here with Prometheus, wanted by the GCPD. He's a very interesting character. Uh, one of the many anti-Batmans. There he is right there. Got the armor on the one uh, one side. The nightstick bat-looking thing. But his, um, yeah, right there. His parents were were criminals, and they were killed by police. So it's, uh, and then he decides to become a, uh, I guess, a vigilante or a symbol to to destroy um, the the forces of justice and and, and the law. So he's, he's an opposite to, uh, to Batman, where obviously his parents were, were law-abiding, and they were killed by criminals. Uh, Prometheus's family uh, were criminals killed by the police, sending him on, a, on an entirely different path. So, so maybe someday I'll do a, uh, uh, an in-depth breakdown of him. We'll see. Oh, here's when she, yeah, she lowers the timer. Cheating bitch. <laughs> she did, did she? I'll stop it. Oh, fuck, come on. Oh, my God. This should be easy. Okay, I'm getting a bit nervous. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, I, lo I lost 15 seconds. I, I was actually getting a bit, a bit nervous there. <laughs> I don't know why this guy has such a silly voice. And it becomes more normal as as he talks. It's weird. I'll stop her and then her boyfriend. Good. Listen, I'll go try and get the ventilation system working. If you find her, don't go easy on her from me. Will do. Where the hell do all these teeth come from? I was just here. Who, who's placing all these teeth down? <laughs> I, I really want to know. How are they traveling so far? More crazies. On the trail of Hurley Quinn. Playing a, a game of hot and cold here with Hurley Quinn. Getting a woman. What has four walls, two sides, and one XDA? So this is the two face one. Of course. Who else would it be? And it is his cell. Oh, right here. So it's split in two. Vote Dent. Coolio. Got some tally marks on the wall, too. Probably counting the days down. <laughs> There's two face there. Uh, character, you know, when I was a uh, uh, younger playing this for the first time, I I was really excited. I was hoping uh, Two Face would be in it. Of course, he's not. He comes into play in later games. Um, he's not really given the the best. Uh, uh, they don't serve v very good justice to him. Uh, I think in Arkham City, he's kind of thrown on the back burner. Same with Arkham Knight, uh, though it's a little bit better than than Arkham City with the uh, the banks and everything. We'll get to all that though, and I'll mention it in my uh, my review of Arkham City and most likely Arkham Knight as well. But uh, but yeah, one of the one of the villains I think that got uh, got a, a bit shit canned <laughs> in in this this Arkham verse. Another one being uh, Black Mask, but we'll get to that as well <laughs> when I get to a later game. Just a triple checking that you can actually play these over gameplay. Yeah, you can. Thought so. So yeah, we uh, could. I could have been doing this the whole time, but ah, whatever. It probably would have been a, a bit annoying anyway. So yeah, we'll just we'll just turn it off because yeah, we would have been 
Probably would have been annoying me just talking over them all the time. Okay. So, there's a trophy down one of these. Let's, let's guess the middle one. Am I right? No. Was it this one? Yes. You are earning my respect, Dark Knight Detective. Respect. Bullshit. <laughs> find his socks. Do they have question marks on them? I bet you they do. Uh, okay, well, I think... I think we got basically all the main stuff. We'll... We'll do... The range... Amplifier? Yeah. But let's do range. Because that way I can I can solve a few more riddles. Uh, especially that Zaz one that was uh, outside... Um, oh, outside this building here. So yeah, we'll... Uh, We'll go do that after, but what I'll do first is I'll uh, deactivate this, which I should have did when I first uh, entered up here. Is turn this off. Makes it a lot easier to just run through there when I'm done. Like so. Oh, gotta wait, wait for the camera thing again. All alone in your cell, why don't you break the ice with the most dangerous prisoner? Is Mr. Freeze the most dangerous prisoner? I don't know, I, I'd say Zaz, maybe? Joker? So th this part's uh, interesting because the floor uh, becomes electrified in intervals, and it, it kind of randomly... Uh, <laughs> Jeez, my, my mouth could not say that randomly uh, turns on one of these three. Yeah, so right here it's going to turn on. I try to keep some of those guys down there so they get <laughs> electrified just like that guy over there. Oh, fuck. Um, and this is actually one of the, the challenge areas too, like the challenge maps. It's one of the hardest to get uh, all of the medals on because you have to maintain your combo, get enough points, do enough uh, combo variations because there's nine moves in total in this game, if I recall. And, uh, and yeah, keep the combo up without breaking it too many times. Which, which does happen, obviously, because if you're on uh, the electrified floor, you have to exit. So you have to make sure that the time you, you're with the guys, like right now, you, you use to the... Uh, fuck, I got hit again. Talk, talking too much. You... Uh, yeah, so you use the time fighting the guys to like the best of your ability and uh, use it wisely because you only get... I try to pull some of these guys down too so they, they land in the uh, the electricity. Fuck! I thought I was going to hit the, the other guy. I like how he's using one of those uh, electrified batons with the electrified floors. Oh man, I just knocked that guy right off. He, he fell down. I assume he's dead. I don't know where this goes. Bottomless pit. Straight to the abyss. Damn. Oh, another guy fell right down. Oh shit, and I was going to do a ground takedown on him, but he was out of the, the area, so... And then is he going to get electrified? Yeah, both of them right there. Fry! Oh, he's still standing. So this is when Joker, like, fucks her over, throws her under the bus. Oh, man, don't they have a loving relationship that isn't abusive in any way? I don't know why so many uh, fans, like, respect it. It's, it's not a good relationship. It's not a healthy relationship. Bam. So right there, that's that's the extent of, you know, fighting Harley Quinn. <laughs> Hands off the merchandise. Basil Carlo, Waylon Jones. I say Basil Carlo. I, I think when I was younger, I said 
Basil Car Carlo. I, I've heard some people still call him that. Uh, I don't know how it's actually pronounced. I'm assuming Basil, because that's how Basil is spelt as well. And Basil is like the fucking spice you, you use for things. Like when you're cooking, so... Yeah. She could fit through those bars. She could escape easily. You kind of you feel bad for her, because uh, Joker fucked her over. And she cries too. Oh, it's so sad. So sad. Kind of, sort of. She's still crazy. And hurts people, so. You can't feel that bad. Now we're actually going to the botanical gardens. Like, what I jumped the gun with uh, in the last episode. The last part. Because, uh... This is Mr. Freeze's cell. Gotta scan that. Right there. Oh, fuck. I know... Where it is, game. I have been there before. What? Oh, I scanned it beforehand. That's that's good. It registered it. Mr. Freeze. Another cool design. Very retro looking. I uh, I love that that image of him. He comes into play in, in Arkham Origins, uh, the the DLC that takes place after the game on New Year's Eve. It's called Cold Cold Heart, and it's a. Uh, kind of an adaptation of the the heart of ice episode from batman the animated series um obviously he's it's not as good as as that episode is um but i still really enjoy it i i enjoy um the mr freeze dlc in, in arkham origins more than i do the harley quinn one in arkham city uh i i think i enjoy it more than all the the, the ones in arkham knight as well so um, it, it was it, it's the best story based DLC I think the uh, the Arkham series has uh, has made and it's it's with Arkham Origins um, of all games the one everyone tends to uh, to bash a lot but I, I I mean it's still DLC so it's not it's not extravagant but by, by any means like it's it's still fairly basic but but it's uh, it's at least satisfying and, and like I said it's not as good uh, oh there's no more You'd think there'd be more than just one. Alright. Oh, I guess only one has a cord, so... Um, but, uh... But, yeah, like, it, it's still DLC, so it's it's not the most uh, complicated thing. Like, it's... But but it's still satisfying, and it's still, uh... It's still based off that, that episode of Batman the Animated Series. My favorite episode from the show. Oh, shit, this one's a trap. It's easy to get out of, though. You just break the uh, the wall. I wish more of these were were in this game. Or even having like the Riddler trap you in, in things too when you when you collect some of them. I wish uh I, yeah, I wish more of these were, were in the game cuz that's what what makes the the later installments uh more enjoyable with with the the actual physical trophy collecting and everything. Cuz this game gets gets really repetitive in uh with that stuff. How to get out of there? I got gadgets. I'm a billionaire. I'm Bruce. Oh wait, never mind. S scratch that. <laughs> got two slashes in my cape. This uh, this cape is. I mean, there's some rips at the end too, but I know in uh, in is it Arkham Origins? I think it's Arkham Origins, where by the time you beat the game, your cape looks like fucking Swiss cheese. Like like it's got so many goddamn holes in it. It's not even funny. How, how he even stays in the air with it is beyond me. He doesn't just, like, fall down. It's like a parachute with a hole in it. Back to the main cell block. Uh, it's in one of the corners here. Ah, oh, right there. So, in this part, you actually have to go all the way back through the building and then uh, and then kind of make your way to uh, the gardens Cause, so it's a, it's a little different than the the last like point A to point B um, detective things because yeah this one you at least have to get to the botanical gardens yourself and then follow the trail uh, as opposed to just following the trail and and oh <laughs> oh shit I forgot about that they completely deflect batarangs they're immune Batman killed? Oh no! This is currently unconfirmed. More as it happens. Back to the studio. Thank you, Jack. 
Oh no. Gotham's probably panicking. Jesus, I just <laughs> ran right through that guy. Some of these like vents and hiding spots, they're just uh like if you go into them there's there's nothing in them. They're just empty empty uh empty empty vents uh to go through. J just like a lot of the, the riddles and everything in those vents that go nowhere. Same type of thing. They they're just put in place just for these guys to be in. See look that guy was out here standing before, but now he's now he's down. The crazy got to him. So this is why I wanted the, the long range uh, cryptographic sequencer uh, upgrade. So I can do this one. And then open this. Collect the Riddler trophy, like so. And then right here, got a Zaz riddle. Subject obscured. What are you talking about? So he's got some tally marks there. Jeez, are you kidding me? Come on. Jesus. There we go. Guess you gotta just be standing in the right spot. But yeah, Zaz did that, so three more added to the list. Three more marks on his body. You'd think you'd think he'd run out of space eventually. Right? What happens when he when he runs out of space? Oh he's got so much scar tissue that that the uh, the tally marks become um, I impossible to, to make out and read. So so you can't really keep track anymore. What then? Huh? Huh? Has anyone asked these questions? I want to know, damn it. Oh, man. I should get uh, the power upgrade, too. This is taking a bit longer than... Oh, man. There we go. There we go. Might as well do this one, too. Some of that long-range action. I like how he like watches behind him in case somebody's like coming up. Take him out. Another secrets map. Grab this trophy there. Bam. We are just racing through these. This is good. So we'll get. Uh, should we get the power amplifier? Yeah, why not? I still haven't upgraded my my armor yet. I should kind of do that soon, <laughs> because some of the boss battles are going to get a little trickier. Poison Ivy especially. I mean, I'm playing on normal. I, I, I won't need to... Uh, I doubt I'll die. This playthrough is just for fun. I'm not challenging myself. Again, I've beaten, beaten all the games on the hardest difficulty, so... Even Arkham Origins has the... Uh, what, what was it called? Night, was it Nightmare Difficulty? Or something? I think this this time he's going to say something about, uh, about Robin. But yeah, in Arkham Origins, they, they have, I think, a Nightmare one where you have to beat the entire game without uh, dying once. Oh, here's, look, Joker's body's in a different position. I forgot that they actually did that. That's good. Keeps you, keeps you guessing. saucy outfit. I mean, yeah, Robin basically wears, like, a green Speedo <laughs> over top of, uh, like, tan-colored, uh, stockings or tan-colored, uh, pantyhose with little tiny Peter Pan shoes, <laughs> basically. It's not the most flattering costume you could, uh, you could wear to fight crime. I think, like, Tiny Toons even made fun of it with, uh, Oh man, what was what was the kid Porky Pig named? Was it was it Hampton? Was it was it Hampton? But he he wears one and it it's like painted like a target, <laughs> and uh, and they make fun of it in in that show. I remember that. Oh man, hearing some gunfire. That can't be good. What'd you do to him? <laughs> Actually, just shut him right up. I guess getting slammed down right on your spine does that. 
Look at them all. Jeez. Oh, I forgot about the battering. Speaking of uh, Robin, too, with and, and Joker referencing him back there, um, uh, I plan on doing a review of uh, A Death in the Family soon, within the next uh, month or a few months. I don't know if it's going to be before uh, Halloween or after Halloween or what, or before my... my Arkham Asylum review comes out. I don't really know, but uh, but I plan on doing it. It's it's one of the next few storylines I have planned. That didn't even affect him. I thought that would take him out. I think yeah. If 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 you detonate it underneath them, it doesn't uh, knock them out. Which you'd think it would. Another Joker interview tape. And then more dent stuff. Is that a riddle? Oh, it is. Let's face it. There were two dents on the wall. Okay, another riddle. I mean, if you see anything that, that might link to any character in, in Batman mythology, then then uh, just scan it, because it's probably a riddle in this game. In any game, really. Where the fuck's the door? Or is it the one where you... Yeah, okay. Yeah, you gotta break the ceiling. Falling. There we go. Another secrets map. How would the guards get in? Into the, the guard house. They didn't think about that, did they? <laughs> I hear another one. But where is he? Oh, there's another one, so. I know you're coming. Just slammed right on the spine. They probably don't feel it, though. They're so crazy. No more snipers. Good. Honestly, th these guys aren't even that uh, challenging. They, they could have been... Uh, like the snipers in, in the... Uh, watchtowers in the guard towers are uh, a lot more challenging than than these guys because at least with the snipers you had to kind of use stealth and everything these guys you just mow down so we're gonna get a few more of these uh, riddles first before we go to the botanical gardens oh and then on this statue here there's a guy on it you can <laughs> knock him off with a battering oh fuck I was too busy. See, that's what happens. They sneak up behind you. Fucker. Where was I? Fuck! <laughs> Another one of these. You know, I just said that these guys are easier than, than the snipers. Maybe I take that back. I already lost half my health. The trophy. Oh, and a and a secrets map. Oh, a treasure trove of riddles. Is this a riddle? Quincy Sharp's mug. Subject obscured. Is it? No. Maybe not. It's probably picking up uh, one of the riddles over there in the cemetery. Yeah, it's probably picking up the. Amadeus Arkham Tombstone or something from a distance. Alright, so let's head into the Botanical Gardens. The the, uh, the plant house. Obviously this is where Poison Ivy's held up. Is the number up for these guards? I think... I'm assuming that's another reference to uh, Victor Zaz. More of his victims right here. That guy's just reading. Fell asleep reading. That's that's all that happened there. Him too. Fell asleep reading. Book was boring. Tally marks mean nothing. It's it wasn't Zaz or anything. Couldn't have been. Oh, 
nice piano <laughs> playing in the uh, the background. Very soothing and calming. Oh shit, they got guns. Just making sure I have all the teeth, guys. Jeez. Patience. You know, I'll, I'll get to y'all. You'll all get your ass handed to you. Patience is a virtue. And there we go. Okay, oh, we're, we're past uh, 40 minutes here, so I'll I'll open this this door and then we'll we'll uh, put an end to this this part here. Uh, thanks for for watching the video, guys. I hope you're enjoying my my playthrough, my commentary, trying to be as insightful and entertaining as possible. Um, I'm enjoying playing this game. If you like the video, hit the subscribe button, hit the the bell icon to be notified of all future content, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.